All right, right back at you, right back at you. So I was speaking about, um, I was I was in different topics. So I was just talking about how people are just trying to hurt your boy. They try to do damage to me and everything else. But then I deviated and went to, um, because I'm trying to un- I'm trying to help people at the same time, so they can understand that just because you have people around you doesn't make you feel. That's not make people can be in a relationship and still feel alone. Not, no, they can still feel lonely. So I started talking about whole, as in um, H W A. Uh, that's the H W H O L E. We are gonna look at the definition of what that is. We We're gonna look at the definition of alone, and we are gonna look at the definition of loneliness. Feel me? And whole, which is uh, a whole, like a whole unit, which is um, W H O L E. Calm down. W H O L E. A thing that is complete within itself. So you do not need somebody else to be a to be a whole. It's a, it's a thing that is complete within itself. Do you understand what I'm saying? You this it didn't say a thing that is complete within somebody else. So how can you describe your happiness with by saying I have this person on my corner? I have this accomplishment. I have a PhD. I have a CPD. <laughs> you have I have a home. No. You, you are whole when you are complete within yourself, confidently, without a doubt. You feel me? The Holy Spirit in you and everything else. They're telling you, stop it. you like, fuck you, nigga. Fuck to me. You feel me? So you can be, you can, you can be, you know, you can, you can be, have, you can have 20 wives and still not feel whole. And still not be fulfilled. It's funny, I'm at a fulfillment center. And you still wouldn't be fulfilled because you are not whole. You are not... You, it's a lot of cost pets. There's a lot of people who are not whole. A lot of people are not whole. You feel me? They're in relationships. So I was hearing that man speak. And I know sometimes they be throwing shots at me. So this is right back at you. You don't fuck with the wrong nigga. You should have just leave me out of it. But you didn't. Now you got to feel me. You feel me? Feel me? And the truth of the matter, that's the truth. So a lot of people, you can be, you can have a relationship with 10 wives and have 50 children all you want and still feel, you still be lonely. You feel me? Because you are not whole within yourself. That's why I said in my, uh, in the previous series of this uh, whole situation, (laughs) I said that um, as a parent, you have to feel you have to be happy. You have to be the one that is happy before you even move forward and take care of anybody else. You feel me? People always tell you, no, put your kids first. And that's true and dandy. But it's like, look, man, I, I strongly recommend that you always think about self. Forget it. Even Christ said, Christ, uh, even they said it in the Bible. And God is our parent, right? And Jesus Christ said that. You cannot put your mother, your father, your kids, or anybody in front of me. And that's the same way you need to carry yourself when you deal with other people. You feel me? He said you are not worthy of the kingdom of God if you if if you put all these people, even if you if you put your kid in front of me, that you're not worthy to, uh, to be in the, to be in the kingdom of God. That's when when God asked that man to sacrifice his kill, his as that man to sacrifice his, uh, his son, he obeyed. And was willing to do it because you cannot put nobody else in front of you. Feel me? And we are sons of God, so you have to see yourself as a reflection of God himself. So you should never put nobody else in front of you. You should never place your trust in men. Only place your trust in God. You feel me? You place your trust in God himself. So if you have a peace of God in you, and you are at peace with God, and you have peace in God... Then who can defeat you? You feel me? I mean, think of it like that. That means you have this God in your presence. There's no need for you to even look. I'm looking up in the sky and everything else like that. No. This is the reason why you need to give yourself the very best sometimes. You feel me? And giving yourself the very best is, guess what? Nobody else but yourself. 
you are the very best. There's no greater, there's nothing greater out there. This, how does that shit go? I'm sorry. <laughs> That's that shit. This, damn. Greater is in you than there is out in the world. Come on, man. So if you, if you have to present yourself with the very best, not your kids can get in the way, not your mother, not anybody else. You have to present yourself with the very best. And once you are equipped with the very best, guess what? You can now provide others with the same care that you've already given yourself, the same care that God has given you. You feel me? But, all right, so this is whole. This is what is whole. So whole is being a, a thing that is, it can't even be, you can't say a thing, all of something. We are all things, basically. So, people are not whole within themselves, you feel me? You have to be totally invested. Another word for whole, it can be told, like, you have to be totally invested in yourself. Totally. People be like, that's selfishness. It's like, no, it's not. It cannot be selfishness, because selfish, it's like selfishness, it's like selfless, no, self. <laughs> selfishness is uh, basically hold on, let's see there okay, let me go right into it selfishness selfishness is a bad word let me put this hold on selflessness the quality the quality the quant the quality or condition of being selfish the act of pure selfishness ah. let leave uh, leave uh. you gotta be selfish bro that's it you guys to be you feel me I'm sorry to tell you guys that Sometimes you gotta be fully invested in yourself, and that's the only way you can really take care of other people. You feel me? You have to put in the work in order to provide for others. Alright? But I wasn't there talking about selfishness. They led to that. But wholeness is basically being complete within yourself. You have to be complete within yourself to 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 claim that you feel me? They was coming at me and it's like, oh, he has, they, it was basically indicating I have nobody and everything else. But I said, I'm complete within myself. If nobody wants to be next to me or they pretend because the whole world is like, you see the agitation. It's like you get attacked just from saying hi to me. So, of course, people are going to make it seem like they're not next to me. But that's okay. That's the same thing that happened with Jesus and Peter denying him. Because when, sometimes when, when you have that much attention on you, and it seems like the, the, the Romans are that much evil and greater. It's like they are the Romans, basically. And it, it seems like um, the, the the tension is so great. Of course, people who are with you sometimes say they're not with you, but that's okay. You feel me? That is okay. But there was indicated like it was some kind of loneliness that I was about myself. And I'm like, why do you feel sad for that? Is it that you feel sad that that could happen to you? Or you truly feel sad for me that that's happening to me? Because to me, that's not a bad thing. They ha I'm whole. You feel me? W-H-O-L-E. Because my pronunciation should be off as a motherfucker. Now we're going to take a look at alone. You see, whole is complete within yourself, which is a beautiful meaning, I have to say. Alone, having no one else present. She was alone that evening. No one's own. He lives alone, indicating that something is 
confirmed to be specific subject or recipient. We agreed to set up such. We agreed to set up such a test for him alone. It's a, another word for alone will be the uh, isolated, lonely, loathsome, lone. While all these words mean isolated from others, alone stress the objective fact of being alone by oneself with silent notion of emotional involvement than most of the remaining terms. There's nothing wrong with being alone. It's like, alone is like solo, you feel me? It's like, yeah, you dolo, you solo. It's like everybody got to take their alone journey. Even Jesus Christ went out to the desert on his own to fast alone. That's when he met the devil. In other, let me tell you this. Um, evaluate. I say evaluation. Elevation requires detachment, isolation. You have to be solo. You have to detach yourself from some everything else for in order for you to evaluate. I mean, in order to, for you to elevate. In order for you to elevate, you have to detach yourself. You have to be separated. You have to be solo. You, you, you have to be alone. You feel me? You have to. Like, that's growth right there. Like, if you, if, how can a baby, when a baby come out of his mother's room, they detach him by cutting up the, they cut the cord up, right? Then they attach him to the breast. Even then, he still has to detach himself from the mother but from breastfeeding. You feel me? So, regardless, you have to detach yourself, and that's elevation. The only way you can elevate if you detach yourself from you have to eventually. If you want to get to the next stage in life, you have to. Even a rocket going up in the sky has to detach at a certain atmosphere. It detaches. It detaches. When it keeps going, it detaches. You feel me? So, everybody has to go somewhere alone. We came in this world alone, unless you're a twin, we're going to go alone. So, alone is blown out of proportion because everybody, miserable people, misery needs company. You feel me? Stop making it seem like the more people you have, the much better off you are, better than somebody else. When it's already said that misery needs company. Now, nah, we're going to go into misery, you feel me? Because alone is being alone, and that's a blessing. You feel me? And it's a blessing. I already said, when a kid comes out the womb, guess what? He's detached from his mother. Then attached to something else, as breastfeed, they breastfeed him or anything else. Some kids don't even get breastfeed. They just get the battle and leave them niggas on the couch. <laughs> yeah, misery. Like you know, they said misery needs company. So a person who constantly feel like they need company around them to define who they are is miserable. You feel me? If you can stay in a state of being alone and still find happiness with the things that you do without you feeling misery, then you are blessed. But if you always need people around you so you cannot feel lonely. It's crazy. It's like it's the worst feeling ever when you feel like yo, I need this person around me to make it seem like I'm not alone. Then when that person come, it's like two hours later, you're like, ah, get out of here. <laughs> like, nah, you can leave me alone now. Like, then you want to call somebody else. Nigga, that's 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 a pro. That's something. That's loneliness calling. That's loneliness calling. A state. All right, misery is a state of suffering. Or, or and one that. Is the result of poverty or afflict affliction war brought misery to thousands of refugees? Da, da, da. A place that causes suffering or discom discomfort, the joys and the miseries of life. Uh, misery. Da, 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 da. So every time somebody feels discomfort, let's look at it again. Suffering, discomfort. Um discomfort of joy, the miseries of life and everything else like that, guess what they do? They want company. They want people to be around them. So they can they feel so they feel like they're not alone. You feel me? 
a mental or emotional unhappiness or destroy our happiness or misery depends on the disposition or not and not on our uh, circumstances I don't like these definitions as a psychologist who have worked with individuals couples and families for over 20 years and being a fellow human being with my own abilities I've learned that there are two causes of mystery over overwhelmingly wanting what you don't have and overwhelm over, overwhelmingly wanting what you don't have and overwhelmingly overwhelmingly fucking nigga not wanting what you already have so this according to the psychologist self proclaimed now this source is according to the psychology today.com and he said there's two different types of uh, misery uh, misery two causes of misery overwhelmingly wanting what you don't have people always want what they can have or overwhelmingly wanting what you already have Overwhelmingly not wanting what you, overwhelmingly not wanting what you already have. You feel me? And that's a state of misery. So it's better for you to stay at home. Overwhelmingly wanting what you can't have. People always want what they can't have. You see them every day, trying to force themselves upon me, trying to force their ideas upon me, trying to tell me who I am when I tell them that I'm not that person. You feel me? That brings a state of misery and obsession that they that that keeps them going to want to uh, stop me and everything else. And when when I step up and say these things, guess what? I'm gonna be attacked more because I had the courage to even say these things. You feel me? Because they're miserable. They always have to attach themselves to me to feel valid. You feel me? You see it for yourself, my nigga. Hold on, let's go back to it. It's two causes of misery. Don't get lost on me now, my nigga. You ain't not gonna get lost on me. Over wanting what you don't have. You don't have me. You can't control me. I control myself. You feel me? You can hit me all you want. You can threaten me. You can try to kill me all you want. You're still not going to have me. You feel me? So that gives them some kind of fuckery, emotional, mental state misery because they're used to having what they want and they just can't have me. And the other one is not wanting what you already have. Keep what you have. Like, you feel me? People, you have people in your life that is already... They already love these people and everything else. These people, like I said, these people have family and everything else, and still leave their family and come spend and, and come stalk a nigga like me. Like these, these are all signs of miserable people. Like this is misery in itself. This is the true definition of a miserable person. You feel me? Wanting, trying to control something that they cannot control, trying to make me into something that I am not. Then. Not wanting what they already have, but yet hold it on to it because they don't they feel like if I let this go and this does not want me, you feel me? So th these people will be in a relationship, right? They'll be in a relationship just for the sake of being in a relationship so that they hold on to that relationship long enough until the next thing, best thing come on, then they let go of that relationship. You feel me? Trust me, I know. You feel me? You hold you in a relationship just to be like, I'm in a relationship. I got a girlfriend. And you you, you kissing her, not because you wanted to kiss her, but you kissing her in spite of somebody else. You feel me? And you holding and acting like you loving her, but as soon as the next best thing comes on, you let that go just to um just to go get something else. You feel me? It said, not wanting what you already have. They are in a state of misery. You feel me? I just want to break it down for I want to break it down where I know I started off the definition of words but I had to break it down for you like I said it's not everybody so if you feel some kind of way then that's on you I cannot I can't I cannot take time out to comfort your feeling Right, we gonna go to loneliness, sadness because no, because one has no friends or company. The feeling, the feelings of depression and loneliness. I see why she went to depression. She she must have looked into the dictionary, checked out where I lived at. Da, 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 anyway, of a place, the quality of being remote or isolated. Isolation. I put myself in isolation. You feel me? 
I can be like the other people and be like, all right, man, fuck it. When I was in New York, I'd be like, all right, because I had too many niggas in New York. So I could place myself around people that I knew wasn't good for me. Or you can remove yourself from people and take time. Sometimes when you come out of a bad relationship, most people feel miserable because they never felt being alone for that long period in time. So they jump into another situation, what they call rebound. But rebounds is only a miss of a shot. So it cannot be good. It could be a second opportunity on what you do with it. You feel me? If you think of it in a basketball term. It could be a defensive rebound or offensive rebound. It's what you do with it. You feel me? So a rebound is not it's not good. It's a second opportunity that somebody missed. It could be a new opportunity for you. It could be a second chance for you. You feel me? So it is what it is. But loneliness, I can see why she picked that. It's sadness because no one has friends or company. You don't need friends or company. You really don't. You can go far. You can go. There's, the world is big enough for you to go out there and find, and be out there and find something of your own and just live life. You can enjoy life by yourself. Unpleasant emotional response to perceive, to perceive isolation, the per, this perceptive this perceptive some degree of loneliness as the limitation of human life means in so basically you can be alone lonely <sighs> yeah I had to yawn on that you can be alone and still be a whole feel me people who are alone can be seen as being lonely oh he's lonely he's alone I, I never nobody has ever told me this until I seen that documentary then I'm like I'm like why would she think that of me you feel me <laughs> like I was just like what I guess that's a story that's being told in the back doors and everything I was like oh he's alone If I really want a company, then why would I leave a place that I've known for a very long time and come to a place like California that I've never been to? I ain't even come here for vacation. I just, in the middle of the pandemic, I took my stuff and left and came here like three months ago. So if I was looking for people to like me, then why would I come to a land that I've never been to before? Come on now. Let's think about it. Somebody please help me out on this one. So we got to make sense of the lies that they've been telling. Because they told you that I don't be recording. And that's another lie. So I, I'm debunking lies this the rest of this year. Fuck all that, man. So why would I come to a place where I don't know nobody? I have no family over here. That is the true definition of you. This nigga really want to be lonely. <laughs> you feel me? And I wasn't oblivious to the fact that people know me in countries that I don't know of. You feel me? Like, I got people that, like, people know me in Iraq, Iran, and everything else. And we're not even talking United. So I know the United States, somehow, somewhere, they was going to follow me. You feel me? I knew the hate was strong when I, I went to New Jersey, and they were still hating on me. And I'm like, Yo, what the fuck? Like, and I'm from New York, and they knew of everything that I was going. So I was going from state to state anyway. You dig? So, if you, if I really was going for hold on now we gotta keep my own time yeah if i was really going for something like a friendship and wanted to meet somebody and everything else then why would i just stay in new york get an apartment somewhere out there you feel me or go to new jersey right there that's even much closer or go to pennsylvania or some shit at least it's a little closer you know what i mean all that stuff is a lot man they be lying They be lying, man. They be, it's all lies. Anyway, yeah, why wouldn't why would I come to a totally stranger land? You feel me? Even when I was if it's ironically when I was talking to the other guy before I was coming here, I'm asking the person, yo, do they have apartment does does my job provide me with apartments? And he didn't even answer me. He tried to act like he he ignored me. <laughs> he act like he didn't hear me. And I'm like, damn, I'm about to get some 
but I wanted a challenge. You feel me? I wasn't here to find and make up anything else. I came here to work. You feel me? My mind is set for that. You feel me? And I'm still set on that. But have no fears. We not worry. We ain't got no doubts. You already know the motto. We also ready for war. You feel me? Bleak is. I got my mind right. Money right. Ready for war. But. They have relationships. They have companions. They have people in the corner and they still feel miserable. You feel me? I can never be miserable or can never feel alone because I have people around me who are around me that I don't want around me. I want these people to leave me alone. You feel me? I be begging niggas to leave me alone. I got strangers. I got people who can't keep their hands off me. I'm like, Yo, like get the fuck away from me. You feel me? That kind. You dig? So it's like a nigga can never feel lonely, ever. Not not, not in a thousand years. You feel me? There's people out there who just can't. They they obsessed with me. They have mental illness. They haven't even accepted themselves yet. They're not whole within. They don't have the peace of God in them. So it's like they won't always. Look, man. Let me tell you this before I even go in my confidence whatever you are you attract the opposite of what you are you feel me so me being confident and very very sure of myself the only thing i can attract are people who are less confident of course i'm gonna attract confident people but i'm more likely to attract people who are less confident who don't have a lot of wholeness in them because they have to steal from your energy you feel me they have to that we attract the opposite. The reason why we attract the opposite of what we are, because we have to feed off each other. Just like a plant, attract the opposite of what he is, which is a human. Because I breathe in, and the plant breathe in. When a plant breathe out, I breathe in. So the whole universe, the law of the universe, is the attraction of opposite. You feel me? So when I, if you take a look around, you see a lot of things that is not you just know that you are the energy and you are the power source that 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 thing needs to survive so do not feel bad about it you feel me that's how i look at my situation i see that's a relationship between a plant and a human you feel me that these people are obsessed with you they lack confidence and they always gonna compete with you in some form of way fashion so they have to constantly steal your energy they have to constantly be a weirdo they have to constantly try to suck. They're like vampires, basically. They're always trying to suck the energy out of you just so they can live. Because without you, they cannot live. If you was not here, they wouldn't be able to do anything else. You feel me? So, there you have it, man. If you don't get anything else, get that last part. You dig? <laughs> yeah, you see me, nigga. Full middle gear. Ready, nigga. Oh, shout out to you. If you celebrate, whatever you celebrate, one.